after passing this gate, we're basically in the old city of uh, Zadar, this old town. Fully sunny day, it's a little bit windy, so the sound quality might be not the best. Um, just give, give a brief uh, history about this region. It's, uh, it is the, the oldest continuously inhabited city in Croatia. And it's passed through Roman Empire, so it's like a pretty, pretty significant history. And uh, we're gonna walk into uh, this place called Forum. Forum basically in Roman, in uh, Latin language, it means square. It basically, means it's like the whole public market, public place of uh, people gatherings. Like people usually selling stuff, and selling vegetables. Uh, it's very significant in the uh, Ro Roman Empire. It's like when you have this kind of a marketplace, it means it's like, it's a very big city during that time. So we're gonna take it over there, show some monuments, show some um, castles, and so uh, fortress walls, uh, basically some of the cool stuff in this this whole area. And it is one of the most tourist place in, uh, in Croatia. And it uh, was rated, it was voted as the most uh, beautiful European destinations in 2016 so it is a very good place to be and uh, we're very happy to be here uh, we're happy to take you guys along on our uh, tour of Zadar yeah please subscribe our channel and make sure that I want to make sure that you see everything yeah. along the way and uh, yeah be prepared so now we are at Forum of Zadar. So like I explained earlier, Forum is a public social gathering in every Roman city, including the Zadar. So this is right now, you will see we have like stairs, all the stones, the stairs and steps made out of stones are, of those columns are basically what uh, uh, the whole area is, the whole Forum. So those are the Roman ruins. Roman ruins, basically. When you're sitting down, you basically sit down with those ancestors 2,000 years ago. So cool. Unfortunately, it used to be a way bigger scale of the whole setting. But uh, due to the uh, Second World War, a lot of these uh, area has been uh, destroyed. So the city has been a um, uh, city and archaeologists, they, uh, they're trying to rebuild this whole area. Uh, but these are all the ruins that they have left, and so nothing's been changed. randomly stop upon this piece of big stone on the ground and, uh, from this carved out like inscription I'm pretty sure it like, looks like a, a sea creature because it's just by the ocean look at that pretty incredible right you can tell this is like the tentacles or like arms in the of the sea creature and there's the body there's the top like pretty cool stuff Oh, 
on all the, uh, the wind, right? So it comes in a very unique sound. So, so today's a cool, today's a really good day because it's waves are pretty big. Fortress wall. Thank you. Enjoy your meal. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. I'm very uh, happy with the meals in Croatia. To be honest with you, it's like people are super well fed here. Yeah, and huge this, portions. It's like a fifty dollar, fifty kuna pizza, which is huge. size. Look at the it's size like of it. It's like an extra large pizza. Yeah. And I got a lasagna. I thought it was a one portion lasagna. And look at it. It's like huge. And the salad is like. Big. Humongous. Yeah. So we're gonna be pretty full. <laughs> Very happy with the portion. Fish. We can do that. We can do that. Oh, that's a good place. Hello, hi. Fine, you? Would you like to check our menu? Hey guys, and we decided to stay here for two nights. And we found this really cute restaurant. It's, uh, they serve very traditional Dalmatian food. And I don't know what it's all about, but I, I, really, love, I really love the um, atmosphere, all the old buildings that we built around it and we just eat in this alley it's so awesome and I never had experience like that I love it love it just love how the European vibe I just love the European summer this time of the year if you know what I mean please subscribe our channel hit the right button and you know give me some feedback we really want to hear your opinions about Croatia we absolutely love this this country and I mean it's Two weeks is a little bit too short, but we're gonna make the best out of it. to dip my uh, bread in there. Mm. Oh my god, the sauce is so rich. Kind of like curry, but it's not really curry. It's like, it's more of a, have a little bit of wine taste as well. I don't know how to describe it, it's really good. Delicious. I got this fish filet cooked in paper, which is really interesting. Gosh. Fish, vegetables, olives, very Mediterranean. So on to tasting the, the, the steak. The steak really tastes like a beef jerky. It's a little bit uh, more dried out. When you chew on it, it's like it tastes like beef jerky. It's very really good. Like kind of very different from what I had. It's not of like a. It's it's a. I think it's like they take a lot of a water out of it, and it's super well cooked. So it's, it tastes kind of like beef jerky. And this thing, kanochi, it's like surprised me. This is something that I've never had it before, and yeah, I think it's made out of potato flour. Amazing, I love that taste. It's here kind of like a marshmallow, but it has like content. It's like take, you chew on it and it's soft, melts in your in your mouth. Love it.
the door. Sansa looks sick. Hit that red button below, hit the bell button to be notified every time I post a new video and just um, come along on this crazy trip with us.